people fear spiders, and even those who don't rarely enjoy finding them in their homes. But few spiders are actually dangerous to humans, and verified, documented deaths from spider bites are almost non-existent worldwide. Spiders suffer from a kind of misplaced fear, due in part to the perpetuation of common myths about how dangerous they are. And few species are surrounded by as much misinformation as the yellow sack spider. These small spiders are more cream-colored than yellow, and sometimes are called black-footed spiders, for obvious reasons. A quick online search will lead you to a long list of pest control and university extension websites warning of the powerful necrotic venom that this spider supposedly possesses. But is the yellow sack spider actually dangerous to humans? This little yellow sack spider's probably been living in our house for months. We see these spiders from time to time in different rooms, but I think it's probably the same one, or at least it might be the same one, because they do tend to move around quite a bit. Yellow sack spiders are active, nocturnal predators that don't build true webs. Instead, they construct a small silk tube or sack that serves as a daytime retreat. These small tubes can be abandoned and quickly rebuilt elsewhere, affording the spider a more nomadic lifestyle. For years, we thought the bite of the yellow sack spider was similar to the bite of the brown recluse in that it could cause necrotic lesions, but now we know better. Uh, this spider, like most spiders, is venomous, but its bite isn't dangerous to humans. A team led by Rick Vetter of the University of California, Riverside, set out to better understand how people react to bites from yellow sack spiders. They detailed 10 verified sack spider bites from the United States and 10 from Australia, and then reviewed 39 cases of confirmed sack spider bites in the medical literature from all over the world. They concluded that a bite from this spider is virtually harmless, likening it to a bee sting, and found that necrotic lesions were very rare and mild. The main symptom all of these bites had in common were sharp pain, redness, and swelling. Some individuals felt nauseous for a short time following the bite, but only one case from the 1960s in Germany documented any sign of necrosis, and this was very localized and minimal. The sack spider may be a common long-term house guest, but they aren't dangerous, and they aren't aggressive. We've lived with sack spiders for years and often don't even bother to move them outside. And don't forget, these spiders are doing their part to keep pest populations at bay. And a fun fact about this species is they also occasionally snack on nectar. But as the weather outside warms and the insect activity increases, I decided it was in her best interest to move her outside so she could have a little bit more productive hunting. I understand why people are afraid of spiders. I used to be pretty scared of them when I was a kid, but in getting to know them a little bit better, I've realized how gentle they are and how harmless they are, and I've come to appreciate their beauty and the free pest control services they provide.